Welcome to the big show. This is a test. This is only a test. People are good. How are you? Sharon Tall, America's number one comics, presents the exciting quiz program. Let me quiz you. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Hey everybody, how you doing today on this great Wednesday? Finally a beautiful day, no wind. We got a great rest of the week coming up. Maybe some uh, some rain toward the end of uh, Sunday, but I think we're all going to get through it. A couple 80 degree days coming up, so let's get ready for that one. Hopefully everybody's uh, settling in. And uh, just to let you know, I am fired up tonight. Boy, uh, whew, right, up, right up Main Street with a red hot poker. I'm telling you, I got a couple of issues tonight. We're going to talk about some stuff as we go along, but uh, hopefully you're all doing well and ready to have some fun tonight. Uh, first, I want to apologize for getting all the information out late. Uh, totally slipped my mind, had everything ready, just didn't send it out until uh, a couple hours ago, as you know. So I do apologize for that. Hopefully you were able to share everything and uh, see all the good stuff that's going on. But if you got the information, if you got Facebook, if you got the email, it is uh, General Trivia tonight, and it is four rounds of General Trivia. Uh, anything goes, sports, all kinds of different topics, geography, science, everything mixed together, and, of course, uh, the usual questions that are alive, uh, who is older, and our current event stuff. Um got a bunch of pictures again remember tonight was uh just about pretty much anything but we focused on prom photos or photos of people dancing uh you know maybe at a wedding or something like that and we just got a hodgepodge of everything tonight and uh we do have uh a couple of you guys uh went to a few proms uh so we got three and four and sometimes five different prom photos so that should be fun and uh and interesting uh, coming up this Sunday, and if you got my email, uh, Sunday's theme, I kind of landed on something. And uh, Lauren, I think you'll like this one. It's going to be John Hughes movies and Mark Wahlberg movies. We're going to mix them together. It should uh, make for a fun quiz. John Hughes movies and Mark Wahlberg. And if you don't know what John Hughes movies are, The Breakfast Club, uh, The Great Outdoors. I think that's one of them. Uh, <laughs> uh, Weird Science. There's a missile in my house, Gary. Right, Nick? You know that one. But uh, we got a lot of fun coming up. That's this Sunday, 725, so tune in for that one. Looks like everybody is uh, is online tonight. Good to see everybody. Hopefully a little bit of a rebound from uh, this, uh, past, uh, this past Sunday. Mob trivia and Mother's Day. Ooh, what a bad combination. Uh, the bar is open tonight, as you can see behind me. We are... Uh, multitasking with the uh, liquor tonight we always have uh we always have the beer but uh we have i don't know if you want to call it a ladies drink you know or not but uh, uh i tend to drink it it is uh the tall bottle back there that is uh some grapefruit vodka and next to that is peach schnapps and of course some lemonade and i'll be telling you how to make that drink a little bit later on i know ryan and caleb had it uh chrissy makes it for me at the four or five and it's a good drink for uh, these 80 degree days that we got uh, we got coming up so hopefully everybody is doing good tonight and uh, we're going to get started in a couple of minutes I'm going to take a short break get everything loaded up and ready to go for round number one I'll see you in a couple of minutes
Hey, hi Tiffany. How are you tonight? I hope you're doing well. I hope Tom's doing good. I hope he had a a good uh, half week so far at the new job. Uh, looks like Ryan is online, and we're trying to find out what Ryan's drinking. Has anybody seen Taco tonight? Where is Taco? Is he in house? I know he was at the uh, the 45th a little while ago, uh, picking up his wings for tonight. I know Flash and Dana are in there, and uh, Jamie's got the. Uh, the pink Whitney. I gotta, I gotta grab some of that. Maybe for this weekend, Jamie, I'll grab some, uh, some pink Whitney's. I know Ryan. Uh, for you, Andrew, I know Ryan said he's gonna hold off on the, uh, on the uh, uh, craft beer until the weekends. I don't know what that means, but uh, he's gonna stick to the softer side. Uh, let's see. Michelle had a, a taco sighting at the 45th an hour ago. There he is. Taco hasn't shown up yet. No clue where that guy is. All right, so it's going to be a good night with uh, Taco in the house. And uh, Jamie and Laura sent in a photo. I'm going to start off with this one. Uh, as I told you before, sometimes, uh, you know, I, I can't remember anything, just like tonight where I forgot to send out the uh, the reminders for the show. But uh, here's a photo of Jamie and Laura they sent in for Harry Potter trivia. Uh, obviously, uh, a good look at Jamie's face there. He is uh, under a spell. Uh, I don't know what kind of spell you're under there, Jamie, but uh, <laughs> that's uh, we're going to be using that photo uh, probably several times tonight, but uh, <laughs> good job. All right, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to get back at it. We're going to start you off with uh, some trivia. Remember, tonight is general knowledge. Questions could be about anything. Round one, they're the easy questions worth one point. Second round, two points. Third round, three points. And the fourth round tonight is going to be worth four points. Remember, as a bonus question for each round, they're going to be worth double points. For instance, round number one, it would be two points if you get it right. Remember, do not put the answers in the chat. Don't put any clues, any hints. And you know what? We are playing for fun, but you know what? Let's keep it fun. Don't use your cell phones or smartphones to look up any of the answers. And then uh, we'll post the uh, scores in between. Uh, I might even have a giveaway tonight for you. So, uh, you know, don't get too crazy. But uh, uh, might have something for you coming up uh, a little bit later on. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Taco was at the 45th Street Pub tonight ordering some dinner and uh, hopefully everyone is uh still giving them a, a shout out or uh you know hitting their their takeout uh don't forget to follow them on facebook and uh you know what i you know i say it every week i love those grilled wings but uh, they do have uh grub hub or doordash or whatever door grub or something like that but uh you know give them a call see what they got and uh keep uh keep them going because uh as i always say i'd love to have a place to go back to when all the dust settles uh one thing this week i guess uh just to give you a little bit of an update uh they extended my furlough uh to uh june 12th uh they uh unfortunately the company's had uh yeah i wouldn't say tough times but they've had to make some tough decisions some people people were permanently laid off and there probably will be more in the next few weeks hopefully i'm not one of those casualties but for the time being uh you still got me for a few more weeks hopefully all of you are doing well and uh you know finding your way through this as uh as some things begin to lift anyway and uh you know hey we uh just uh you know keep going and if you need anything you can always shoot me uh, an email or whatever you need and i'll get the word out and we'll try and help you best we can all right thank you andrew i appreciate that uh for the fingers crossed uh, cross your fingers cross your legs cross your eyes i don't care i'll take anything at this point but i'm also looking for a job too so you know what uh i'm not you know waiting around for something to happen i'm going to pretty much be aggressive and you know if you see if you know any good work out there hey you know what i'm uh I'm, uh, I, I suck. I don't work real well at anything. I do this. This is what I do. I, uh, I talk pretty good and I'm fat. So they're my two skills. I don't know if that's a job set. I don't know. You guys tell me. But let's go to our quiz. Here we go. It is general knowledge trivia. And as always, keep your own damn score. That's right. General knowledge trivia. Here we go. Round one, column one, question number one. As you know, correct answers are going to be worth one point. Your bonus question is going to be two 
points all right here we go question number one as always question number one is going to be your current events question here it is current events this past monday give me the name of the former heavyweight boxing champ who released a training video stating i'm back i'm back again don't put your answers in the chat don't call out the answers don't give out any clues don't look them up but here you go this past monday give me the name of the former heavyweight boxing champ who released a training video stating i'm back and uh as far as i know he is uh he's looking to get back in the ring he wants to uh he wants to swing so uh i don't know hopefully you get that one no it's not aaron hernandez he's uh he's uh, i think the uh tampa bay's looking at him aren't they ryan question number two it's your this date in history question on may 13th 1981 give me the name of the holy figure who was shot riding in an open automobile in saint peter's square rome italy all right that's your this date in history question for tonight john parks john and carrie in the house tonight butch good to see you regular mike in the casa on uh, may 13th 1981 give me the name of the holy figure who was shot riding in an open automobile in saint peter's square rome italy johnny g yeah he is uh he is still dead but not from the not from this not from this though but he is uh he is still dead flash with the butterbean you remember butterbean he was uh he used to come out with those apollo creed shorts if i uh if i remember all right moving on now question number three anybody seen marianne is marianne in the house tonight uh amanda darren where's mom all right question number three what shape shape what shape is New York's Madison Square Garden? What do you think? What shape is New York's Madison Square Garden? Yeah, where are the MIGs tonight? Haven't seen them. They missed uh, mob trivia too, I guess, uh, taking a break. Moving on, question number four. How many men, and this is a, uh, a multiple choice for you, pick the correct answer. How many men have walked on the moon? Has it been 12 men, 17, or 19? Ryan, it is uh, cube dice tonight. Although one of these nights I will surprise you. I will do crush dice. What do you think? How many men have walked on the surface of the moon? Okay, so uh, your choices are 12, 17, or 19. So regular Mike in the house tonight. Good to see you, Mike. Uh, sadly, I don't have any, uh, I don't have any uh, photos of you tonight. Uh, Sting is not included there, John. <laughs> so that's a good one. Nope, nope, no crushed ice time. Moving on, number five. Who was Time Magazine's person of the century? Not person of the year, person of the century, chosen in 1999. And it's a you pick it question. Here's your choices. Was it Franklin Delano Roosevelt or Albert Einstein? Who was Time Magazine's person of the century? You remember back then, Y2K was the big thing. The whole world was going to shut down, but... Time Magazine picked a person of the century back in 1999. Was it Franklin Delano Roosevelt or Albert Einstein? Saying hello out there to uh, Dave and V tonight. Joining in and as well as uh, Darren, Amanda and the girls. Good to see everybody tonight. Don't forget to hit me up with those likes and subscriptions if you haven't done so already. Moving on to number six. Number six. Here we go. Name the character. Okay, give me the name of the character. Whoopi Goldberg, Morgan Freeman, and Alanis Morissette have played in different movies. Hey, Kim's in the house tonight. Kim, where you have been? Kim went into hiding there for a few weeks. 
Good to see you. Hope you and Keith and Richard are doing well. Name the character. Again, I'm looking for the name of the character. Whoopi Goldberg, Morgan Freeman, and Alan Alanis Marset have played in different movies. All right, Ryan's put out the call a little bit early. Looking for the poop nugget. No poop cam tonight, though. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a that's a pretty big uh, prop there. I can't leave that thing in the house. Can't have a giant poop, you know. But uh, <laughs> who do you think? Character. Give me the character number seven. True or false? Everybody loves a good true or false uh, question. Eating a poinsettia plant will kill you. Is that true uh, statement true or false? What do you think? Well, Kim, I assure you that I, I don't know if there's not. I, I think there's no Disney. There's definitely no Harry Potter in this one. I'm sorry, uh, Layla, for that one. But uh, you know what, Kim, you gotta you gotta shoot me an email or <laughs> jump up on Facebook and uh, tell us what you want to uh, what you want to play. So I'll try my best. But Kim, remember this uh, this Sunday, uh, if you tuned in late, is going to be. Uh, Mark Wahlberg and John Hughes movies and John Hughes uh, hopefully you know uh, about his movies with uh, let's see what, what were some of John Hughes Uncle Buck was one of his movies the of course the Breakfast Club one of my favorites that's right Marky Mark we'll probably uh, we'll probably have a Marky Mark question in there but for this one number seven true or false eating a poinsettia plant will kill you is that statement true or false number eight what college did famous retired basketball player shaquille o'neal attend what college did shaquille o'neal attend was it ucla tcu or lsu pick one if you get it right it's worth one point what college did shaquille o'neal you all know shaq he's on the He's on the NBA TNT show with uh, Charles Barkley and a couple other guys on there. But uh, what college did he attend before turning pro with the uh, the Miami Heat? Yeah, pretty in uh, pretty in Pino. That's that's one of my favorite. We got to do a wine night one of these uh, one of these nights. We'll uh, we'll get our favorite wine and uh, and uh, drink that up. But pick it, TCU, LSU. Or UCLA. That's right, Shaq Fu. I, I remember when uh, Shaq used to do rap with the uh, with the group Fu Schnickens. Actually, uh, saw them play at the. Uh, uh, let's see, that was the old Woodbine Inn. I think that was number nine. Here we go. It's your famous dead or alive question. You tell me, is this person still dead or still alive? Blueberry Hill singer from the fifties. His name is Fats Domino. Is he still dead or still alive? Come on, you know the answer to this one. Pick one, dead or alive. You know the song. I found my thrill on Blueberry Hill. I'm not a singer. I'm not a singer. But all you got to do is tell me, is he still dead or still alive? Fats Domino, number 10. What is the last word? And again, don't look it up. What is the last word in our U.S. Pledge of Allegiance? Hey, there's Marianne in the house. Good to see you, Mayor. Thank you for jumping in. What is the last word in our U.S. Pledge of Allegiance? Now, I'm sure everybody just stood up and you're going... One nation under God. Okay, come on. What do you think? Last word. Number 11. It's your final question of the evening. Or not the evening. Of round one. Ooh, that would be a quick night, huh? All right. It's your bonus question. It is worth double points or two points for this round. Here we go. Name the country's flag under which Christopher Columbus sailed when he discovered America. So when Chris Columbus jumped on his ship, he had the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. They had flags flying. What country's flags were flying on his ship? 
Name the country's flag under which Christopher Columbus sailed when he discovered America. If you get it right, it's going to be worth two points. That's going to do it for round number one. I got a couple of photos for you coming up right now. And uh, we're going to come back in a couple of seconds and give you the answers to round number one. Here we go. Here's a couple of photos sent in by Andy and Michelle. All right, we had some photos sent in there from uh, Andy and Michelle. The first ones right here are uh, them at the uh, the prom there, and uh, I don't even know I don't even know what year this is, but uh, there they are. And uh, of course, this one here, and I don't know this uh, this kind of reminds me of City Slickers right here. And Michelle, you're gonna have to correct me if I'm wrong. I think you said this is uh, you got on the horses here. Is that Punta Cana? Is that I said that very uh, very metagon, didn't I? Where was that uh, taken, Michelle, on the beach with the uh, with the uh, horses with uh, you and Andy on vacation? So Michelle's going to throw that up in uh, in chat. Also, too, hopefully uh, everyone tuned in tonight. My uh, my sister in law's back online with the uh, cooking cousins. 101 she had a great recipe tonight uh, for you so uh, she's back on uh, a little bit of a family emergency and uh, she is uh, back on so uh, find her on the, on Facebook and I appreciate you uh, you know looking in on uh, on her also too today I'm watching TV and I don't know if you guys uh, if you guys ever you know oh i don't know how much tv you're watching anyway if you're watching movies or whatever but uh i'm watching this commercial and they're talking about high quality poops really high quality poops i can't play a goddamn springsteen record but you could say high quality poops on tv okay and then second of all who's really studying your dog's poop well, I mean, I know we do, but my dog, you know, he doesn't feel too well all the time. You got to look at it. But high quality poops? Really? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Okay. So let's see. Wait a minute. Michelle's jumped in here. Nicole's even on. All right. Good to see you, Nicole. Make sure I get a like from you. Andy, 1981. Michelle, 1983 in the middle. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see if I can get this one back up here. Here we go. Andy in 1981, Michelle 1983 in the middle, and 1990 was at the uh, the school prom 
where you guys were chaperones and then this one i hey i got one right i actually read an email that's from 2016 uh in punta cana there and uh what were the names of the uh the horses there i'm sure everybody wants to know that one all right the entire pet food industry is based on poop it must be the entire pet food industry is based on poop all right so here we go let's go for those correct answers for round number one remember I'm, I'm fired up tonight so I got a couple of things coming at you a little bit later on uh, hey Nicole good to see you thank you thank you very much don't forget give me my likes and subscriptions gang got to get those numbers up all right correct answers for round number one give yourself one point for every correct answer and two points for your bonus question here we go number one this past monday mike tyson he released a training video and he said uh, i'm back so apparently mike tyson is going to uh he's going to start swinging again so uh hey give him a let's side you know what i would not mind seeing uh mike tyson fight again now who is he going to fight that's another story because uh, some of those George Foreman fights and those, uh, you know, 50 and older boxers, they, they were tough to watch. Question number two on May 13th, 1981, the holy figure who was shot riding in an open automobile. That is Pope John Paul II. And there he is. Popes are cool, man. They're just like real peaceful and everything. You know? Number three, the shape of New York's Madison Square Garden is round. Madison Square Garden is round. There you go. Hopefully you uh, you all got that one. Number four, how many men walked on the moon? Twelve. Twelve men walked on the moon. Number five, the person of the century was Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was Time Magazine's person of the century. Number six, Whoopi Goldberg, Morgan Freeman, and Alanis Morissette have all played the role of God in different movies. And uh, so, uh, let's see. Uh, Alanis Morissette was in Dogma. Uh, Morgan Freeman was Bruce Almighty, and Whoopi Goldberg was in... Uh, boy, that one escapes me. All right, so we'll, we'll get that one later. Number seven, true or false... True or false, eating a poinsettia plant will kill you. That is false. False. It may be poisonous to your pets, but to a human being, you'll just uh, you'll yak a little bit and probably uh, be sitting on the bowl for a while. But uh, that is false. It won't kill you. Number eight. What college did Shaquille O'Neal attend? He was uh, LSU. LSU. If Whoopi is God, I'm going to hell. Nick, you're going to hell whether she's God or not. I got news for you. Number nine, dead or alive, Blueberry Hill singer Fats Domino. He is still dead. Uh, passed away not too long ago at, at the age of 89 uh, in October 2017. So he's been going a little more than a couple of years. But uh, still dead. Number 10, the last word in our... The U.S. Pledge of Allegiance is all, all liberty and justice for all. What do you think? So is Ted Danson. What's up with Ted Danson? Did he die today? Or uh, what's going on with Ted Danson there, Andrew? <laughs> I must have missed something. All right, and your final question, your bonus question for round number one. If you got this one right, it is worth two points. Here it is. The country's flag under which Christopher Columbus sailed. He uh, sailed under the flag of Spain. Spain. There you go. And uh, All right, so it's time to post your scores. Post your round one scores. Remember, one point for each correct answer, one through ten. And two points uh for your uh bonus question for if you got them all right plus the bonus question it's 12. be honest here post them up there let's see uh that's right uh, i forgot about that uh ted dancing and Whoopi used to be an item all right marianne with seven darren has got uh 12 points aaron in the house with eight butch 11. 
Yeah, yeah, we got to get uh, Jamie on on time with uh, Kevin Smith. Flash with 11, Dana with 11, 12 for Ryan, Mikey with 11, JT with 12, Lauren 12, Justin with 9, Nicole 12, good job, Andrew 10, Bob 8, Dave and V. Well, well, Dave says V has 11, so are, are you insinuating you have more, Dave? What, what are you saying there? John and Carrie, they have 11 points for the Park Olsons. Uh, Candy online with the family tonight, 11. Good to see you, Candy. Thanks for tuning in. Who else? Who else has got round one scores? You want to put them up? Uh, put them up now. So that looks like uh, that could be it. All right, we're going to, let's see, uh, Team Whatever has 12. See what happens, John. You got to let Tom keep score. <laughs> John thinks he's got it. Taco's got 11. Frank Costanza just couldn't stand the thought of another Seinfeld trivia night being suggested. That's right. How about that? Frank Costanza, Jerry, Cost uh, Jerry Stiller passed away today. The, uh, the father of Ben, or not today, the other day, the father of Ben Stiller, he was, uh, he was Jerry Seinfeld's dad on Seinfeld. So uh, Bob on there with 12. So we got a couple of perfect rounds for round number one. Coming up round number two. Round number two is uh, questions get a little bit tougher. And uh, let's see. Let's see what we got on the, uh, the photos here. Here we go. I got one for you. Uh, here's one of uh, one of my dogs. This is, uh, this is Bruno. We call him uh, Spider-Man. Uh, this is he sleeps in the hallway and in front of the bathroom, but uh, he actually Looks like he's climbing the walls there when he sleeps. He's got everything happen in this picture. He's our uh, He's our four-year-old golden retriever. He is uh, He is uh, half nuts, but uh, it's always nice to see him scaling the walls there in the middle of the night So uh, I'm gonna take a quick break and I'll be back in a couple of seconds and get you ready for Round number two. So if you guys are following along uh, here with uh, trivia uh, twice a week and also with uh, with the raccoon hunters, uh, you know me and Johnny Flash, mostly Johnny Flash. We've been trying to put together. Uh, we are the world. Okay, we John's been putting out uh, five parts per day. So far, we only got three or four takers. We actually have one part that's completed. Somebody actually sent in. Uh, here's the thing, folks. If you guys want to do that do this this cool we really want to do this it's uh we want to have some fun uh i know michelle wants to do it in sign language even though she doesn't sign or she may lip sync i don't care that's uh, an awesome idea but uh you know i don't know you guys are a little slow picking parts here uh what do you want to do do you want to pull the plug on this one we'll move on to something else or uh do you folks uh want to try and do this i think it would be awesome uh there's a lot of uh 
places out there, people, musicians, and things like that doing We Are the World. I think it would be cool for us to do it, uh, even if it is just for us. Uh, maybe we can get some hits and maybe we can get some stuff online. But uh, give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. You could do it online tonight or post it on Raccoon Hunters. Let me know what you folks uh, want to do. I told you, uh, I told you earlier that uh, I was fired up. I was fired up today because a uh, couple of things going down. Then the first thing is I get a call out of nowhere today from Bank of America. Okay, they call me up and they say, "Hey, you know, uh, John, how are you? This is Bank of America." And uh, just for uh, clarification or whatever they go, uh, identity purposes, can you give us your full name, address, and last four your social security number? And I'm like, uh, you guys called me. I'm not giving you nothing. And uh, the guy said, well, how am I going to identify that who am I really speaking to? I said, this is an unsolicited phone call. I said, you called me. Again, I ain't providing you, and forgive my language, with shit. Um, so this went back and forth for a few minutes and I said, well, what are you calling about? He goes, well, I'm calling about your home loan. I said, you mean my mortgage? And he's like, yeah, I want to talk to you about it. I said, this is unsolicited. I, I'm not talking to you about anything. So again, we went back and forth and finally I said, give me your supervisor. I said, uh, I've never heard anything like this where people just randomly call and ask you to prove your identity. You called me. So let me tell you how upset I got on that one. Uh, finally, I had to tell the guy to stop talking. Just stop talking. Go get your supervisor. Don't talk to me. That, 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 that. Get your supervisor. And he puts me on hold. And I waited for five or ten minutes and I hung up and they didn't call back. So just be careful out there of those scam artists out there, folks. Remember, unsolicited phone calls, <laughs> you don't have to provide nothing. It'd be different if I called them up and said, hey, I, I need some information on my mortgage or my loan or this or that. And, uh, you know, you got to prove who you are. But when they call you, nah. And I said to the guy, I said, do you realize uh, really what you're doing? I said, in these times, I said, you're asking me for personal information that you should have. I said, here's the, here's the deal, pal. You can contact me by U.S. mail, my email, or online banking. That, those are three options you have access to. You contact me through that, and I'll talk to you. He said, well, I'm going to give you a phone number, and then you can call me back on to verify that you're, uh, you're talking to Bank of America. I said, no, nah, I don't know this number. He goes, well, you can go to the white pages. Yeah, I can go to the white pages. Thanks. But just keep that in mind. Boy, I was fired up with that one, folks. I don't want to see anybody get, <laughs> yeah, what's his name, Craig? <laughs> <laughs> it might have been might have been Ryan. I don't know. It could have been Nick. I don't know. <laughs> it could have been one of you guys trying to, you know, you know, you want to come here, you want to do some shit. I don't care. But uh yeah, that was the way my that's why I started drinking early today. All right, so it's time for round number two. Round number two correct answers are now worth two points. Your bonus question is gonna be worth four points. Remember, we're still doing uh general trivia. And again, don't call out any answers, don't put them in the chat. And uh, as I said, we're playing for fun. So don't look them up on your cell phones or computers. So here we go. It's time for round number two, column number two. Here it is. I'll give you guys my info. I don't care. I'll, I, I mean, you could go. I'll, what do I care? I trust you guys. It's these other buffoons. All right. So here we go. <laughs> round two. Round two, number one. Which came first? Reality shows Big Brother or Survivor? Okay, now I don't want to hear this BS about, well, this show started in Britain or overseas and blah, blah, blah. I live in America, okay, like, like the rest of you. Tell me which came first? Reality shows Big Brother or <laughs> Survivor? Yeah, it was Jake from State Farm. I should have asked him. I, you know what? Honest to God, one day, one day my phone comes up and we got the caller ID. It comes up on the TV and everything. It, it comes in from from Pillsbury Baking Company, and I'm like, why the hell's Pillsbury Baking Company calling me? And I and I look at my daughter and I pick up the phone. And I go, is this the Pillsbury Doughboy? And you know what? Nothing. Dead silence. You know what? I don't care. What are they gonna do? Put me in uh, 
in phone jail? I don't know. Pick one here. Big Brother or Survivor? Come on, give me your likes out there, folks. Number two. It's your favorite. Who is older? Music legends Mick Jagger or Paul McCartney? Yeah, if Taco calls up, I'm hanging up. I hang up on Taco. I, he was on my porch. My neighbors were like getting ready to call 911. He was dropping beer off. <laughs> what do you think? Who is older? Music leg legends Mick Jagger or Paul McCartney? Pick one. Mick or Paul, who is older? What do you think? Who is older? Number three, true or false? McDonald's, everybody's favorite fast food joint. McDonald's marketed a product called the McLobster. Is that true or false? McDonald's marketed a product called the McLobster. Yeah, I have a filter on here now with uh, for caps. Uh, a couple of you guys blowing it up with the caps in there, so I put the. Uh... <laughs> Andrew, you're gonna you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get blocked. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna block you. We're gonna block you from here. And uh, and uh, what's that uh, on tap? <laughs> Your beer thing. What do you think? True or false? Pick one. McDonald's marketed a product called the McLobster. Number four, name the athlete. Again, I'm looking for the name of the athlete or author, or I should say and author in this case, whose autobiography is titled, You Cannot Be Serious. Once again, name the athlete whose autobiography and that should be is titled you cannot be serious who do you think write it down don't put any clues in the chat number five marine corps base camp lejeune is located in which u.s state I'm sure we got a Marine or two in the uh, in the group tonight, but Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune is located in which state? Give me the state where you will find Camp Lejeune. What do you think? Camp Lejeune. The U.S. state. Oorah, there you go. Number six. Question number six. Here's your your choices. It's a multiple choice. In which season does the vernal equinox occur? And of course your your choices are winter, spring, summer, or fall. In which season does the vernal equinox occur? What do you think? Yeah, Mike, send me what you got. I'll uh, I'll be glad to post it on uh, Sunday's show. Pick one: winter, spring, summer, fall. Number seven. Remember, correct the answers were two points. How many players are on the floor for one? volleyball team is it six seven or nine players how many players are on the floor for one volleyball team and your choices are six players seven players or nine players not not the whole court just just one one team what do you think Number eight, give me the name of the actor. Once again, looking for the name of the actor who is the voice of CNN. 
What is the name of the actor who is the voice of CNN? And, uh, you know, sometimes they'll do those uh, little plugs or tags or whatever you want to call them. And he's the guy that uh, that goes, this is CNN. Maybe if he drops, I'll get the gig, you know, maybe. Maybe I got a shot at that. I don't know. I really don't have that deep of a voice, but I don't know. You guys tell me. Name of the actor, number nine. In which sport? Again, I'm looking for the name of the sport here. Did athlete Dick Button compete? In which sport did athlete Dick Button compete? Yeah, there you go. Uh, Andrew nailed that one. Uh, NASCAR does return this weekend. Uh, they're also talking for, uh, for Major League Baseball with an 82-game season. <laughs> Keith, that's a good one. <laughs> I'm with you on that one, brother. <laughs> Everyone on CNN is an actor. That's a great one. Number, uh, yeah, Alabama must have opened it. That's for sure. And in, uh, in which sport did athlete Dick Button compete? Come on, gang, give me those likes out there if you're just jumping on. Let's try and get over the uh, the 40 likes mark. Number 10. Name the brand. Again, I'm looking for the name of the brand that uses the slogan, maybe she's born with it. That's one for the ladies out there. I don't know, maybe some of you guys too, but give me the name of the brand that uses the slogan, maybe she's born with it. Anybody seen Poop Nugget tonight? Anyone uh, seen the nugget? Probably, uh, probably the late email didn't help name the brand that uses the slogan maybe she's born with it and your final question for this round it's your bonus question it is worth four points if you get it correct here it is number 11 Name the award-winning musical in which you will find the songs titled All That Jazz, Cell Block Tango, and Razzle Dazzle. What do you think? I need the name of the award-winning musical in which you will find the songs All That Jazz, Cell Block Tango, and Razzle Dazzle. Annie, I knew, <laughs> I knew you'd wake up for that one. There she is. I love you, Ann. Thanks for being here tonight. This question, I was thinking of you when I uh, put this one in there. The award-winning musical in which you will find the songs, all that jazz, cell block tango, and razzle dazzle. That's going to do it for round number number two. And uh, I'm going to come back with the correct answers in a couple of seconds. Let's see what we got. We got some, uh, we got some prom photos sent in by uh, Dave, Mr. X. Let's take a look at these.
So that was uh, that was kind of my question. Uh, that was my question there, Marianne. Uh, Dave, if you can uh, if you can jump in here and uh, tell us what kind of car was this uh, uh, that is uh, on the screen uh, right now? Obviously, a uh, great picture there on the right. Uh, eighth grade graduation, but uh, there you are going to the prom. Uh, wearing uh, looks like cutaway and tails there in the uh, what is is that a I, I don't know is that a Torino is it a what is that a Matador <laughs> I don't know all I know is that uh, you know when I was that age it's a 74 Dodge Charger that's right and you put the uh, you put the craggers on the back and it goes faster remember that guys okay you put the rims is on there and it goes faster thank you Lily we are up to 174 just nailed that one thank you she is uh she's my subscribe watcher right there that's all she does is watches uh my subscriptions thank you Lily and uh the red sled that is uh that is a nice car and uh here's uh some prom pictures like uh Dave looking good there he's uh I don't know let's see back then I guess you look like uh Kenny Loggins or something like that or a young Kenny Rogers I don't know but uh, looking good there. Dave went to a lot of proms and uh, ooh, Dave, that chick magnet. I don't know, V. You got a chance. You got a chance now, V. Run, run for the door. Run. All right, we're gonna do the correct answers for round number two. Uh, remember, we're still doing uh, "We Are the World." If you want to do that, let me know. And uh, don't forget this Sunday, 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 Sunday. John Hughes movies along with Mark Wahlberg movies. All right, let's do the correct answers for round number two. Round number two, correct answers. If you get it right, we're two points. Bonus question, four points. Here we go. Number one, which came first, reality show Big Brother or Survivor? Survivor, 1997, Big Brother, 1999. Hey, yeah, thank you, gang. We just hit 40 likes. Let's keep it going. Question number two, who was older, music legends, Mick Jagger or Paul McCartney? Mick, 76, Paul, 77, and I think Paul turned 78 in June or July. So, uh, Paul is, uh, he's getting up there. Let's see if he tours, you better go see him. Number three, question number three, true or false, McDonald's marketed a product called the McLobster. That is true. Uh, back, I think I want to say in the uh, early 2000s, uh, they marketed it up in uh, uh, the New England area and uh, Canada for a couple of years. The McLobster. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but there's uh, there's a couple things I don't do, and that is buy seafood at McDonald's uh, or a gas station. It's just a personal rule, you know. A couple places you don't. Anyway, number four. No, I don't. I don't think the forty-fifth has McLobster because you guys would probably be tearing it up. But you know, hey, anything's uh, possible. Maybe I can have it. Uh, have them uh, put it on the menu. Butch says it was delicious. So, hey, Butch, are you from up there? So, Butch might have had the uh, the McLobster. Number four. Number four, the athlete whose autobiography is titled "You Cannot Be Serious." Of course, that is John. McEnroe and his autobiography number five Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune is located in Jacksonville North Carolina North Carolina that's right McBootios you know what if they had McBootios John that's better than some of that breakfast they serve I'll tell you that but uh, Chick-fil-A's got uh, pretty decent breakfast that's uh what do they got? The uh, the McChicken on a biscuit or something? Number six, the season. The vernal equinox occurs is spring. And that uh, I think that happens on the, the day spring hits. Uh, March 20th, I believe, is, uh, is typically the vernal equinox. Number seven, how many players are on the floor for one volleyball team? That is six players. Number eight, the voice of CNN is none other than James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones, he's the voice of this is CNN. He's also uh, he's also Darth Vader. I wonder what they're going to do, man. If uh, he's getting up there, he's still alive, but he's getting up there. 
Number, uh, that was band camp, wasn't it, Dave? Not base camp. <laughs> that was a good one. Snuck that in. Number nine. Number nine. What sport did athlete Dick Button? There's a name for you right there. What uh, what sport did he compete? He was uh, figure skating. There she is, Chrissy in the house. Uh, look, uh, All Star Valley Volleyball, Cherry Hill West All Star Volleyball. Really, totally. <laughs> For four years, there you go. All right, so Dick Button, he was a figure skater, and uh, okay, Nicole says Jeff got it. Good job, Jeff. Number nine, the brand that uses the slogan, maybe she's born with it. That is Maybelline. Maybelline. Hopefully you guys got that one. Uh, hopefully Jeffy got that one too. I don't know. Maybe she's born with it. Number 11, your final question. That was a kind of a layup uh, there, but uh, hopefully you got it. All that jazz, Cell Block Tango and Razzle Dazzle. That is from the musical Chicago. And, of course, there is the... Uh, the movie with uh, Richard Gere, Renee Zellweger, and uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones. And uh, I don't know. I, I watched that movie. Uh, Richard Gere was, was kind of tough. Was kind of tough. So, uh, let's see. Uh, post your scores. Post your scores up there. And uh, let's see what you did for... Round number two. Remember, you're going to put your score for round number two first. The slash and equals the total or whatever. And then put your final score. So, here we go. Taco has got a total of 33. Marianne with 27. Ryan, 32. Dave and V with 23. Lauren, 32. Aaron with 24. Uh, Candy in the family with 31. Great score. Butch with 27. Andrew, Ashley, and the boys, 30. Dana, 29. Bob, 26. Mikey with 33, doing good. Tom with Team Whatever is uh, still perfect with a score of 36. You had the Dick Button question, huh? Uh, Johnny Flash with 29. John Parks and Kerry with 27. Nicole, 32. Darren, Amanda and the girls, 26. Bob with 24. Kim with 23. Chrissy, three beers and two shots. Okay, so you're, you're keeping up with me. Kate with uh, 29. Good to see you tonight, Kate. 27 for regular Mike. Justin with 25. And uh, old drum check had eight for round number two. What's your total, drum? And uh, JT with 34. And... Uh, there we go. Uh, happy birthday, Tom. We missed that one tonight. How'd that one sneak by us? So, uh, everyone, send out uh, some love uh, for Tom. It's his birthday today. And uh, hopefully uh, you're doing well and you're celebrating there at home. <laughs> happy birthday. What are those aliens in the background? Uh, they are they are uh, a couple of aliens. Uh, my daughter and I won down the shore. That migrated their way into the uh, room. You missed the uh, the giant poop last week, Kim. You miss a lot. You miss a week. Uh, let's see. Didn't play round run, so I missed it. My bad. Okay. So old drum, give you uh, give yourself six points for round one, and uh, add that to the eight for round two, and you're sitting with fourteen, and you'll make a big comeback. Come on, give your happy birthday out there to Tom. And uh, we're going to take a look at, uh, let's see, we got another, we got another uh, prom photo for you. Here's one from Johnny Flash. That was a 
That was a good picture there, uh, Flash. That, uh, doesn't that, she looks like the, uh, well, that's not Dana, right? Of course, that's, I don't, I mean, but you guys are like drinking. You look like you're hammered there. Like you're going to a, like you're going to a Leonard Skinner concert there. <laughs> what are you guys drinking, first of all? And she kind of looks like the, uh, the chick from Saved by the, Fe by the Bell. Uh, what was that movie she was in that, uh, uh, what was that movie? Showgirls. That's it. He looks like he's dating a chick from Showgirls. There you go. That is Dana. Dana, that's not you. Are you? No. Dana. That looks nothing like you. You guys got to get a better camera. What are you drinking? And when did you go to the prom? <laughs> that's the other question. <laughs> What are you drinking and when did you go to the prom? Well, you know what? I agree, Lauren. If you look at the smile, but it doesn't look like Dana. I I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Well, Dana, I do believe you now. I can, well, it can, yeah. Can you make this photo sync Space Cats so we know? Is it Sherry? <laughs> it's like cooking Sherry? <laughs> Oh my gosh, God bless you guys, you know what? So, now, again, you know, and, and Dana and John, you don't have to answer, when was that? What year uh, was that photo taken uh, when you guys went to the uh, 87? Wow, God bless you. That's that's amazing. And you know what, Dana, I the height, but I, I just, it doesn't look like you, I'm sorry. It's someone else. I Nope. There she is again. All right, so it's Dana. So, but why does John look traumatized? That's the question. Was it the cooking, Sherry? I don't know. All right, so we're going to get ready for round number three. Coming up, I'm going to take a quick break. Happy birthday, Tom. I got some more stuff coming up.
All right, I'm back, and it's time for round number three. Ooh, this thing's giving me problems tonight. Remember, round number three, correct answer is going to be worth three points. Your bonus question will be worth six points. All right. Let's see. Uh, what else we got here tonight? We got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, as you know, Sunday, John Hughes movies along with Mark Wahlberg. So hopefully something for uh, for everybody with that one. All right, round number three. Correct answer is going to be worth three points. Your bonus question is going to be worth six points. And uh, let's see. I think I have a special topic tonight for round number three. I believe I do. Yeah, I do. I do have a special topic for answers one through ten. They'll be on a specific category. Every correct answer will be worth three points. Again, don't look up any answers and... Uh, you know, don't use your cell phones or smartphones, and please don't put anything in the chat. Round, the, or I should say question number 11 will be worth six points, and it will be a general trivia question. Here we go. Let's jump into round number three, and here is your topic for answers one through ten. Here is one that I've used before, but nonetheless still fun. I will give you the name of a U.S. president. You provide their middle name. Okay, this is one of Bob's favorites, Bob and Peg, hopefully playing at home tonight. Here's, uh, here's one. As I said, I've done this one a couple of times. I've used different presidents and whatnot. I've asked them if uh, it's worth three points. Here it is, number one, Barack H. Obama. What do you think? This one's for you, Andrew. There it is. Question number two. I don't know. Everything looks good on our end here. I don't know if you guys are frozen. Everything's moving uh, from what I can tell. Question number two. William J. Clinton. Again, just looking for the middle name. I give you the initial. What does the J stand for? William J. Clinton. <laughs> William J. Clinton. Moving on, number three. Ronald W. Reagan. Ah, uh, hang in there, drum. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'll text you the answers. <laughs> Ronald W. Reagan. I think I used this one uh, not too long ago. If you play along, you should still, uh, you should might, you might remember this one. Don't forget, gang, give me those likes. Give me those subscriptions out there. Number four, James E. Carter. James E. Carter. What does the E stand for for uh, Jimmy Carter? <laughs> it's always good to have a sixth grader in the house. That's right. <laughs> Andy, you should be doing good with this one. I know. Uh, I know you know your uh, history. James E. Carter, number. That's right. Ryan's got a history degree, too. That's right. Ryan, almost a teacher. Number five, Gerald R. Ford. Gerald R. Ford. Gerald R. Ford's not even, uh, well, I, I don't want to say it's not his real name. It's... Uh, he was born under another name. I think it was uh, Leslie King, if that's right. But uh, better known as Gerald R. Ford. What does the R stand for? Number six, Richard M. Nixon. Richard M. Nixon. 
That's uh, not an easy one, but uh, probably one you you should know. Richard R. Richard M. Sorry, Richard M. Nixon. Richard M. Nixon. Number seven, Donald J. Trump. Donald J. Trump. What's the uh, what does the J stand for? Oh right, I forgot, Mikey. You t- Mikey teaches high school history. Yeah, I know. There's a bunch of history nuts in here. I know Bob likes uh, Bob. Bob's a big history fan. What do you think? Donald J. Trump. Number eight, William H. Taft. You know I got to put this one in there. William H. Taft. What do you think? H. All right, these next two, they're pretty tough. Number nine, Chester A. Arthur. Chester A. Arthur. I think he was the, uh, was he the only president that was elected twice to uh, non-consecutive terms, I believe that. In fact, yeah, well, he's got a few LBs on him. He's doing pretty good. What do you think? Chester A. Arthur. What does the A stand for? And uh, this is a tough one. I'm hoping, hopefully you uh, you history majors will come through. Uh, that was Cleveland. I'm sorry. Thank you. It was, uh, yeah, Cleveland was two non-consecutive terms. Uh, number 10. This is, this is the uh, tough one. Hopefully the history uh the history majors will come through on this one. Rutherford B. Hayes. Yeah, I think it was Anquan, uh Keith. <laughs> Anquan. <laughs> it was a family name. Okay. Kim, you don't know Chet? Chet Arthur? Come on. He was the uh Chester A. Arthur. He was the twenty first president of the United States. Go ahead, look it up. I know I nailed that one. Because they mention that in Die Hard. Boom. Boom. It's a Christmas movie. Boom. <laughs> Rutherford B. Hayes. B. What's the B stand for? And number 11. Question number 11. It's a general trivia question. And if you get this one right, it is worth six points. Here it is. Moving on now to question number 11. What is the first and last name? And you have to have both first and last name of the first, very first runner to break the four minute mile barrier. And I know I got a bunch of runners in there. I know Taco's a runner. I don't know if Johnny's on the phone, John Wilson tonight. He's a runner. What is the first and last name of the first runner, the very first runner to break the four minute mile? That used to be, that used to be like putting a man on the moon is getting a guy to run a sub four minute mile back in the day. The first and last name of the first runner to break. Yeah, I I got news for you, Mike. I don't run anywhere. Forrest might have broke it. I, you're lucky I can walk, let alone run. <laughs> what do you think? Four minute mile barrier. Who is it? First and last name for full credit. That's going to do it for round number. Number three, if you get that last one, it's going to be worth six points. All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, we got some more photos coming up. Here we go. Here's one from uh, Johnny. Johnny sent in some photos of him and Karen in various different spots here. And uh, let's take a look.
Uh, so there we got some photos of uh, John and Karen. Uh, their uh, different weddings that they have attended. Uh, no dancing, of course, but uh, some beautiful shots there of uh, our favorite couple there. And uh, I, John, you are, you are like James Bond. I, I swear, you are like James Bond in these photos. Now I know why uh, Karen loves you so much. You guys are uh, outstanding, and thank you for playing every week. I don't know if you guys are following the chat. Uh, Ryan brought up something interesting there. Um, I, I don't run. I've had several knee operations. I used to be a baseball player years ago and tore up my knees and had my last operation a couple of years ago. But uh, one day I got in the work early and a customer came in and I helped him. And uh, the gentleman was, uh, he was, uh, uh, I don't know, very religious. He was, uh, you know, a, uh, I don't know what you would call him, a, a pastor or just one of these guys that goes around and, uh, does uh, sermons and speeches and everything and talks about the Lord and everything like that. And uh, somehow I got into the conversation with him. He, he noticed I was limping around and having trouble with my, my right knee. And uh, uh, he said, uh, would you mind if I prayed for you? And I, you know, hey, I, I'm not an overly religious guy, but uh, yeah, let it rip, pal. So uh, next thing I know, this guy gets on his knees and puts both his hands on my right knee and bows his head and starts praying to the Lord Jesus as my co-workers are coming in. And uh, he started to do some faith healing on my knee. Uh, it was, uh, yeah, he could have been a cult leader. It's, it's quite possible, Michelle. But nonetheless, uh, he came in a few weeks later and uh you know me i'm a pretty straightforward guy he goes how's the knee and i'm going it's it's fucking worse than ever dude <laughs> you know, he's like <laughs> you know but uh <laughs> get an operation <laughs> you know so uh but uh this has been i've been living with this now for about five years with the the guys that i hang out with uh some guy trying to faith heal my knee and uh i i'm you know what if if it works i i would tell you okay i'm <laughs> You know, I limp more than ever now. I don't know. Just, uh, let's, <laughs> no, it wasn't Joel Osteen. <laughs> it's a true story. Ask Ryan. Ryan will verify it's a true story. All right. So, uh, what else do I have here? I tell you what, let's, uh, let's go to the correct answers for round number three. I got some other stuff we're going to talk about tonight. <laughs> Boy, this is, this is like, uh, you know, this is like, uh, Phil Donahue tonight. I'm telling you. All right, here we go. <laughs> Ryan says, true as can be. All right, here we go. Okay, so, oh, wait, here we go. I uh, Laura says, I was leaving Marshalls with Ryan, struggling to lift Ryan out of his wheelchair and put him in the car, and some crazy woman stopped. Okay, so, this is, so, we, so there's faith healers out there, folks, okay? <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, <laughs> let's get to the correct answers. You guys read the chat. I'll read the answers, okay? All right, correct answers for round number three. Barack Hussein. Barack Hussein Obama. Look, I got an extra like out of that story. Question number two. William Jefferson Clinton. William Jefferson Clinton. Number three, Ronald Wilson Reagan. He was named after the uh, volleyball in uh, in the Tom Hanks movie there, Cast Away. Ronald Wilson Reagan. Number four, James Earl Carter. James Earl Carter. Number five, Gerald Rudolph Ford. Gerald Rudolph Ford. Number six, Richard Milhouse. Milhouse, everybody's favorite character from the, from the Simpsons, but... Uh, Tricky Dick had it first. Richard Milhouse Nixon. Number seven, Donald John Trump. Donald J. Donald John Trump. Number eight, William Howard Taft. William Howard Taft. Number ten, Chester Allen Arthur. No, uh, no tough name there, but number ten was. This was a tough one. Uh, number 10, three points. 
Rutherford Burchard Hayes. Rutherford Burchard Hayes. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully someone, uh, got that one. Yeah, Mike, you missed the, uh, you missed the Craig Fassler story. You, uh, miss a minute. You miss a lot here. And your bonus question, question number 11. It is worth, uh, six points. Here it is. The first one to break the four minute mile, Roger Bannister. Roger Bannister. He was the, uh, the first one to break it, and I think he did it in 1954, if I'm correct. Uh, but uh, there's a picture of Roger. And uh, since then, they've broken his record a couple of times uh, with the uh, the sub four minute mile. So, uh, you know what? I was telling you earlier that I was kind of uh, fired up tonight. And, you know, the first one that got me started was the uh the bank of america thing you know with them calling up and you know you call me and ask for the information the other thing and, and again i'm gonna i'm gonna ask you guys for your help on this one this came out i think i heard it uh today i want to i think it was earlier today that the boy scouts of america are now uh they cannot they are forbidden to uh, go out on Memorial Day and place flags on the graves of veterans. And I, you know what? I hate to be overly graphic, but that went right up my thing because I'm a big supporter of the veterans. I try and raise as much money as I can. I know you know I'm affiliated with the Merchantville Car Show. We raise a lot of money for veterans through that. Uh, my father was a World War II veteran. He uh, he uh, was uh, 44 months overseas in the Pacific and um, fought there, uh, over there for, uh, it was almost 40 months uh, in the Pacific and North Africa and uh, was kind of raised with that. I've also spoken at many uh, Memorial Day events. I've given speeches. Uh, I've even had the opportunity to deliver uh, the poem Flanders Field uh, if you haven't had the opportunity to read that poem I suggest you do but I understand the precautions we need to take but placing uh, flags on the graves of veterans I don't think they're going to catch it I really don't uh, and if you can stay six feet apart how does that stop you from putting a flag on a grave from people who served our country. So I want to put the challenge out to everybody. And, and, and again, you do what you're comfortable with, but I, I'd like to see everybody out there. If you have the chance this Memorial Day or before, uh, if your family members are veterans, uh, if you can make it out to a cemetery, go buy a flag or two. Don't buy hundreds, just buy a couple and go put them on the veterans of your local cemetery because they deserve it. They're why we're here. And they're why we can keep going forward and be the great country that we are. Again, uh, it's, um, it's a very, very personal thing to me because of my father and his involvement. And we grew up hearing, you know, some of his war stories. We found out, unfortunately, more about him after he passed away uh, with his buddies calling in. But uh, it's never a time. there, And I believe this wholeheartedly. Don't risk your life. Don't jeopardize your family, but there is never a time where we cannot honor our veterans. Uh, they should be honored all the time. I'm going to take a quick break, come back with round number four. God bless you.
Hey, how about that? Is anybody looking at the chat there with uh, Andy from Team Whatever? He's going to retire in 26 days. Put your hands together for Andy. Congratulations. I, uh, well, I don't know how Michelle feels about that, but, uh, and, uh, let me throw up a picture. There he is. There he is on the, uh, horse. Maybe he's going to go horseback riding, but, uh, Andy, congratulations. I, uh, wish it was, uh, wish you were, you know, uh, retiring under different circumstances. You could go out swinging, but, uh, you know what? Thank you for everything you do as well as, uh, you know, all of our teachers out there who, uh, who just, uh, you know, unbelievable what you guys do, what you face, but, uh, Andy, God bless you. Good luck. We love you. And, uh, in 26 days, uh, if we're still on, you know what? We're all going to raise a beer. Okay. For you, for, uh, outstanding. How many years, Andy, how many years, uh, have you, uh, have you, uh, taught? Uh, I know, I know you're what history. Uh, you've also coached your, I think wrestling. Is that correct? Uh, as well as baseball and some other things. How many years, uh, have you, uh, served as a, uh, an educator uh, for this uh, for this great state. All right, so Andy, you got to come strong here. Uh, we need to know how many years and what school. I'm pretty sure. Where, where are you, Andy? Are you a Pensalkin? 26 work a days left. 34 ye years teaching, 32 coaching. And <laughs> he's going to continue to coach. That's good news. <laughs> that's right. That's right. He's at uh, the tech school. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, he's, he's, uh, uh, he coaches wrestling and, uh, baseball. Do you, uh, do you coach curling Andy? That's all we, we just need to know. Cause Ryan needs some tips. <laughs> Put Nicole on, let Nicole do it. <laughs> All right. So I tell you what, gang, uh, a couple more things to cover here. And uh, we're going to do our round number four trivia. Correct answers for round number four are going to be worth four points. Your bonus question is going to be worth eight points. These are the toughest questions of the evening. Again, don't put your answers in the chat. Don't put out any clues and don't use your cell phones because we are playing for fun. Don't forget, too, I got one more uh, thing coming up. Um, is the... Um, uh, a, a giveaway I got a giveaway for you and also too I did promise you that I was going to tell you uh, what I was drinking tonight and it's a grapefruit drink it is a grapefruit vodka and again I, you know if grapefruit's your thing this might be the way to go but this is uh, three olives let's see if I can get it on camera there three olives grapefruit vodka okay so if you're making a normal glass not like me i make you know what is it like a 54 ounce like a big gulp but uh you want to put two two parts of grapefruit vodka you want to put one part of peach schnapps and this is pretty refreshing too so if, if you know for the summer for the 80 degree days two parts grapefruit vodka by three olives one part peach schnapps okay you could put a little bit of uh you know if you want to do some some cranberry in there you can throw that in there as well and then you know just get yourself some uh some lemonade okay and fill the rest up with lemonade stir it up and you got yourself a great little refreshing drink okay uh, Ryan and Kayla had that at Christmas. Uh, they wanted some, they wanted to like, I didn't have mimosas and it was still early. So I made them that and it was, uh, you know, grapefruit's kind of like a, you know, like a morning fruity drink. I don't know. 
But uh, you know what? Try that. It's very good. Three olives, grapefruit, vodka, two parts. One part peach schnapps. You can add some cranberry in there. And then the rest with uh, some some uh, lemonade. All right. Let's get with round number four. Does it come with a tampoon? Oh, tampon. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it does, actually. <laughs> It does. Tampoon. There you go. It shows you what my eyes are doing right now. All right. Uh, here we go. Round number four. Question number one. Let me get the uh, let me get the music off here. All right. Here we go. Question number one. On the Simpsons. All right. Everybody's favorite long running comedy TV cartoon show in the Simpsons TV show what does Krusty the Clown's father do for a living what do you think in the Simpsons TV show what does Krusty the Clown's father do for a living okay so uh, we don't need his name or anything like that we just need his uh, his profession or what he does for a living on the Simpsons question number one moving on now to question number two question number two who are who are Emmanuel Rosenfeld Maurice Strauss and Graham Jackson better known as who are Emmanuel Rosenfeld Maurice Strauss and Graham Jackson, better known as. Again, don't put any answers in the chat. Don't put any clues. Don't look it up on your cell phones or computers. Who are Emmanuel Rosenfield or Feld? Maurice Strauss and Graham Jackson, better known as. Question number three. What was the name of the U.S. and world, okay, so the U.S. and the world's first nuclear submarine? What was the name of the United States and world's first nuclear submarine? So they have a lot of... Uh, a lot of names, you know, you have the Indianapolis, that's a ship, it's a battleship, or, uh, no, what was that? That wasn't a battleship, that was a, uh, I'm not too good with the, the ships, I'm more of an army guy because of my dad, but, they named the ships, what was the name of the U.S. and world's first nuclear submarine? Number four. I need the name of the movie. What is the title of the 1993 movie that gave us the classic line, I'm your Huckleberry. Nick, you should know this one. I, I bet Mike knows it. Regular Mike should know this one. What is the title of the, <laughs> the SS Tampoon? Okay, thank you. That was a good one. What is the title of the 1993 movie? That gave us the classic line, I'm your Huckleberry. Great movie. You're absolutely right, JT. One of my favorites. But I need the title. The title of the 1993 movie that gave, gave us the classic line, I'm your Huckleberry. All right. Robin loves it. <laughs> I, I mean, it's just sometimes there's great movies. End of story, period. Number five, true or false? It's round four, and you're getting a 50-50 question here. You tell me true or false. The Bronx. The Bronx is the largest of New York's five boroughs. True or false? The Bronx is the largest of New York's five boroughs. Is that statement true or false? Andy, you're you're kind of from uh, you're kind of from New York up there in uh, North Jersey. The uh, I think it's what the uh, 
as I said before, the home of uh, Al Di Miola up there. Uh, yeah, Johnny, I think it's area. It largest, uh, you know, landmass area. Biggest. You know, tip to tip kind of thing. Not, uh, not population. I will say it, uh, I will say it that way. Size, not population. True or false, the Bronx is the largest of New York's five boroughs. Michelle, you were born in the Bronx. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Some good information there. We still got some more prom photos for everybody. And uh, as I said, uh, I got a giveaway coming up and uh, a couple things before we uh, get out of here tonight. Number six, who is the Flyers? And this is a multiple choice question for all you hockey heads out there. Who is the Flyers all-time leader? In penalty minutes with 1,815. 1,815 minutes in the sin bin. Is it Dave Schultz, Bobby Clark, Rick Tockett, or Paul Holmgren? One of these gentlemen is the Flyers all-time leader in penalty minutes with 1,815. Your choices are Dave Schultz, Bobby Clark, Rick Tockett, or Paul Holmgren. What do you think? All right. Nick says it's easy. Mike says it's easy. Regular Mike says. <laughs> one for the hockey guys out there. Who is the Flyers all-time leader? Pick one. In penalty minutes with 1,815. Dave Schultz, Bob Clark, Rick Tockett, or Paul Holmgren. Pick one. Number seven. Question number seven. From the 90s. Taking you back to the 90s, uh, probably Ryan was about uh, two or three years old at this time. What are the first names of the Menendez brothers, jailed and now serving life sentences for murdering their wealthy parents? If you remember these two guys right here, they uh, they went in, they staged the crime, killed their parents to get their inheritance and insurance money. What are their first names? you got to have both for full credit. From the 90s, what are the first names? Of the Menendez brothers, jailed and now serving life sentences for murdering their wealthy parents. Just their first names. We know their last name is Menendez. In case you didn't get that one. I need their first names. What do you think? That is number seven. Four point question. Moving on to number eight. Question number eight. What is the name... Of the world's largest desert. What is the name of the world's largest desert? What is the name of the world's largest desert? It's a map. <laughs> Ron Flockhart, man, I haven't heard that. Flocky Hockey, you remember that one? All right, moving on, number nine. How many bathrooms are there in the White House? And it's a multiple choice. How many bathrooms are there in the White House? Are there 27, 31, 35, or 38? bathrooms I don't know you might now if you ever go on to the White House or have taken a tour of the White House you might know the answer to this not that they show you all the bathrooms but how many are there I don't know do they have gold toilets at the White House I thought that was at the uh What's that, the Kensington Palace or whatever the hell the... I don't know. I, I, you know what? That's a good question. How much TP do they have? I bet they're not running out. How many bathrooms are there in the White House? 27, 31, 35, or 38? Pick one. You get it right. It's worth four points. Number 10. Question number 10. It's your last four-point question of the evening. Number 10. 
What do the letters PF stand for in PF Chang? Hopefully, uh, hopefully you had the opportunity to eat at PF Chang's. But uh, PF, what do the letters PF stand for in the name PF Chang's? What do the letters PF stand for? So you need two answers, one for P, one for F. What do the letters PF stand for in the name PF Changs? And it's time for question number 11. It's your final question of the evening. Again, don't look it up. Don't shout out the answer. And if you get it right, it's going to be worth eight points. This could be it. Question number 11. Your bonus question. The Titanic was one of three ships built. Name both of the Titanic's sister ships. Okay, so there was three ships and they were all moored and built in the same place, which I believe was in Ireland, if I am correct. They were all built at the same time. One, of course, was the Titanic. What is the name of the two sister ships? belonging to the Titanic family. The Titanic was one of three ships built. Name both of the Titanic's sister ships. Now, if you follow the Titanic story, you probably know one of them. And depending how close you... you uh, no, not the Pinta and the Santa Maria. Uh, this is where the original song Boats and Hose started right here on the Titanic uh, you, if you follow the, the Titanic story closely you probably know the history and have heard of the two other ships I need those two sister ships for full credit and you know what if you get one uh, if you get one you can give yourself half credit uh, if you get both give yourself full credit or eight points alright it is time for our final prom photos of the evening and these are sent in by andrew and ashley let's take a look So the question on the table, as uh, put so eloquently by uh, Taco, is Christ, how many proms did you go to? So <laughs> Andrew goes her senior and junior and a snowball and his senior prom. They, uh, they're professional prom goers. And uh, there they go. <laughs> Boy, that, how much did that cost you, Andrew? That's the question. <laughs> What'd that cost you? The flowers, the corsages, all this stuff, the tuxes. I probably would have, uh, probably would have had to buy one my, if I seen, uh, if I seen that one. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You are right, Andrew. You are right. That's right. They got married, so who the hell cares? All right, <laughs> they were practicing. <laughs> 
God bless you. I hope the boys are doing well. And uh, as far as everyone out there, I hope you're doing good. Uh, a couple things out there. Uh, one, talked about uh, last Sunday. Who's up for Friday night? Uh, we could do, uh, if you want to jump in on Zoom, we can do 40-minute uh, uh, sets. Anybody up for 40 minutes of music with uh, me and Johnny Flash? We'll uh, play, take requests, uh, do all kinds of good stuff. Uh, 40 minutes on Zoom. At, uh, we want to do it, uh, see if we can do it Friday at 8 o'clock. You just jump in and uh, what do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. So what do you think? Put it in the chat and uh, we could post it uh, in the next couple of days on uh, Raccoon Hunters if you guys are up for it. Uh, once again, uh, we want to do it on Zoom. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. You don't even need an account. If you guys are up for it, we can send you an invite. You don't, as I said, you don't even have to set up an account. Uh, up to 100 people can join in so you can tell your family and friends and uh, we can run a chat or something like that on the side and uh, have everybody uh, jump in and do some uh, do some uh, uh, some whatever you want to hear I don't care I could play uh, I could play brandy for 40 minutes I don't care it doesn't matter <laughs> all right so uh, again zoom download the app on your phone uh, you can download it on your computer. Uh, just pipe it through your speakers and, you know, we could play some uh, some Lizzo. We could do some classic rock. We could do anything. Uh, Johnny, I know he, he probably has a better collection than I do. But uh, between the two of us, we can pump out a lot of songs. So, uh, yeah, we could do a Zoom prom. Maybe, uh, maybe we, can, we can nominate Andrew and Ashley, the, uh, the king and the queen. All right, so we got a couple of thumbs up here. We'll put it, uh, I'll put it up on a, uh, Mary Ann says, all right, there you go. Uh, we'll put it up on a, yeah, we could do polka. Everybody knows my song, polka, polka, polka. Maybe you've heard of it, polka, polka, polka. There you go, Hall and Oats. It's drag race night, very good. Very good. I have a, I had to get my daughter a subscription, everything, that's all she watches is, uh, is drag race. All right, so join. Make sure you're on Raccoon Hunters. And uh, me and Johnny will put that up there. So uh, here it is. Here's the uh, here's the last thing. And I'm going to go and uh, run down the correct answers right after this. And I don't know if this is hard or easy for you. But uh, first person to type in the uh, correct answer, you uh, we, like I said, I had, a, I had a giveaway tonight. So you're going to win a Quiz King pen. Huh? Huh? The highly coveted. Only a few people have these. Okay. The Quiz King pen. You see, I'm using one here for my notes. I have uh, assorted colors. I have red. I think I have blue, black, and green. So uh, if you could tell me who the person is in this photo that I'm going to show you. And again, you got to type the answer into the chat. First person to type it in correctly. And uh, Ryan and Kayla are disqualified for this one. Uh, so don't type it in, Ryan. But uh, here we go. You're going to get a Quiz King pen. South Jersey's Trivia Queen. Queen? Queen. Um, queen and King. Queen and King. Queen. All right, here we go. Get ready. First person to type it in gets a pen. Let's take a look. I need first and last name of this celebrity. Here we go. Everybody ready? Let's take a look. Who is that? Okay, that's all you get, folks. I threw it up there. The first person to throw it up there is uh, Allie Marie wins. It's Adele. Adele. Very good. There she is. She lost some uh, LBs there. Apparently, it is. All these people got Adele. You're not getting pens. I only got like 100 of them. Uh, let's see. Allie Marie, <laughs> you are the first one. 
apparently, uh, according to Ryan, he's my uh, he's one of my crack staff here. He tells me that she is uh, recently divorced and uh, she lost some LBs there. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. I mean, uh, yay for health and she looks good and all that. I don't know. I think I liked her with a, you know, with a few more LBs on her. I don't know. But uh, Allie Marie, you're our winner tonight. Jump on to the uh, Raccoon Hunters and I will mail you this pen. And uh, you're our big winner. That was pretty fun. Maybe I'll do that next week. I'll uh, I'll send Ryan out there to find some more celebrity photos of people you don't know who the hell we're talking about. So it is time for the correct answers for round number four. Yeah, you know what, Lauren? You are absolutely right. Adele is beautiful any way she looks. She is a, a great singer. I, you know what I wondered about, though, when Ryan sent me that picture? Was, uh, was can she still sing? You know, you lose, you know, sometimes when you got, you know, you look at those opera singers, man, they can, you know, you lose a hundred pounds, man. I don't know. Shit changes. Maybe your, maybe your vocal cords get thinner, thinner or something like that. That's why I keep the weight because, you know, I'm chubby and sexy. So, you know, you guys tell me. All right, let's go for the correct answers for round number four. And remember, correct answers are worth four points your bonus question eight points don't cheat here we go number one what does Krusty the clown's father do for a living he is a rabbi he is a rabbi rabbi hyman Krustovsky is uh is Krusty's dad moving on to question number two emmanuel roosevelt marie strauss and graham jackson are better known as the pep boys Manny, Mo, Jack. There they are, the Pep Boys, Manny, Mo, and Jack. Question number three: The name of the U.S. and world's first nuclear submarine is the Nautilus. Number four: The title of the movie that gave us the classic line, "I'm your Huckleberry." That is Tombstone. Tombstone. I tell you what, he uh Sam Elliott, man, he's got he's got like the greatest mustache ever. Ever. And Val Kilmer, Kurt Russell, and uh Who's that other guy there? That is uh Bill Paxton. He is dead. He is still dead, Bill Paxton. Mike, you gotta see it. You got to see Tombstone. Number five, true or false, the Bronx is the largest of the New York's five boroughs. False, Queens. The Queens borough is the largest, and that is the, uh, the picture of the Queens borough bridge right there. Number six, the all-time Flyers penalty leader in minutes is none other than Rick Tockett with 1,815 number yeah Wilf, Wilfred Brimley is right there with uh, with Sam Elliott Sam Elliott was in that uh, that movie with uh, uh, what the hell's his name Patrick Swayze he was in Roadhouse remember what's up amigo remember that one <laughs> number seven question number seven from the 90s, the first names of the Menendez brothers, they are Lyle and Eric. Lyle and Eric. That's right. That's right, Robin. Wait, who, who was in Ghost Rider? Ghost Rider, that was Nick Cage, wasn't it? Or is that the dude with the head on fire? But uh, Lyle and Eric Menendez. They're still in jail, thank goodness. Number eight, the name of the world's largest desert is Antarctica. Look it up. I don't even think I spelled that right. Antarctica? Yeah, I think I spelled it right. All right, the world's largest desert is Antarctica. Look it up. Number nine, how many bathrooms are there in the White House? There are 35. 35 bathrooms in the White House. Number 10, your last four point question. No, you don't get partial credit for this one. You got to have both. PF, what does PF stand for in PF Changs? That is Paul Fleming. 
Paul Fleming. It's uh, two two uh, chefs there. Yeah, there's only 35, Ant. Uh, Paul Fleming and some guy named Chiang, C-H-I-A-N-G. Uh, another guy, I'm not too familiar with him, but Paul Fleming and Chiang. Number 11, your final question of the evening. Hopefully you got, uh, you got both of these for full credit. And uh, if you did get uh, both, you get eight points. If you only got one of the two, give yourself four, four points. Here it is. The Titanic had two sister ships. Name them. They were the RMS Olympic and the RMS Britannic. And on the top there is the Olympic and the bottom, the Britannic. And uh, you could see right away... Uh, and let me back up here. Uh, I can't back up. I'm sorry. Uh, but you can tell that right away, if you look at the uh, top one, the Olympic, they both look very, very similar to the Titanic. Again, they were both built, uh, or I should say they, all three were built at the same time, uh, I believe, in uh, Ireland. All right, so time to post your final scores. They're coming up now. And uh, Johnny Flash with a score of 58. Justin with 42. Haven't heard you all night, Justin. Darren, Amanda, and the girls with 53. Dana with 69. Sweet Potato Candy, nice job with 84. Lauren with 106. Uh, let's see. Mike with 60. Andrew, Ashley, and the boys with 72. Butch with 74. Mikey with 100. Great job, Mikey. Round three helped you out there, but uh, let's see. 34 in the fourth round. That was good. Tom, 98 for Team One Ever. Let's see. <laughs> Ryan with 106. Good score, Ryan. Uh, Robin jumping in late with 26. Just, you know, Robin's got 126. There you go, old drum. 95 for Taco. Good job. Uh, 71 for Bob. 95 for Marianne. Excellent score. JT with 100. JT and Laura in the house tonight. Uh, Ryan with 104 and a score correction. That's You got to drink craft beer. Andrew, you better talk to him. Tell him to drink craft beer. He can add. It was back and forth all night. John, we're going to wait and see. Make sure that... Uh, all the scores are in. Any other scores? Uh, 69 for John and Kerry. They got the... Oh, boy. Pardon me. 69, the magic number for those two right there. Huh? Uh, Friday night Zoom craft. <laughs> All right. Bob and Peg. Any other uh, scores out there? All right, so it came down to two teams tonight. They were back and forth all night long. They were in first, second, last place. Coming in second place, missing the money by only two points. With a score of 104, coming in second place, it's Ryan and Kayla, your big winner tonight. With a score of 106, give it up for... Lauren, put your hands together, folks. Let's see if I can play some sound effects here. Because I get copyrighted on everything else in the goddamn freaking world. There we go. You've got mail. I'm playing it all. There we go. Hopefully I won't get any more copyright strikes with this stuff. Apparently uh, everything that I play is a copyright strike. So here we go. Recap tonight. Don't forget Sunday night. Sunday night we're going to do John Hughes movies along with Mark Wahlberg movies. Okay. Combination of that plus your useless general questions mixed in 725 this sunday night uh also too this sunday send in your karaoke if you guys got karaoke you want to do you want to send that in for sunday plus any photos that you have and that means anything pets proms graduation i don't care give me a picture of your favorite car 
I don't care. How about pictures of you guys in your backyard? Enjoying the sun this weekend. We got 80 degree weather coming up for a couple of days, okay? Send me any photos you got. Also, too, coming tomorrow, I'm going to post a poll on uh, Raccoon Hunters if I don't get it up tonight and uh, see if everybody's in for our 40 minute Friday night where me and Johnny Flash are going to jump on Zoom and uh, do some, uh, some sets. We got spots for 100 people, uh, but you have to let us know if you're in. We can do it through Raccoon Hunters. We'll send you invitations and we'll DJ play any requests that you want to hear. And we'll do that because uh, if we go longer than 40 minutes, they cut us off unless we uh, spend money for it to go longer, which, hey, what the hell? Maybe I'll do that. You never know. Um, so anything else, put it in the chat. I'll be glad to answer any questions as we go on. Amanda, thank you for tuning in. Have a great night. And uh, I hope you all are doing well over there. Good night, Candy. All my best to Chris and the kids. I hope uh, hope you guys are doing good over there. And uh, God bless you. Unlike changing these diapers. <laughs> Good night. All right. So uh, Andrew and Ashley got to go change a couple of diapers right now. So they're going to jump off. Love you, Tom. All my best to you and the family. And good luck. Hope you get through the rest of this week. And uh, you're smiling at the end. <laughs> I love you, Robin. Thank you. Good night. And thanks for tuning in. Uh, Robin, let's start. Uh, uh, let's start our conversation and uh, get going again uh, whenever you're ready. All right, uh, Survivor finale. What else? Uh, what else did we have tonight? We had uh, what else? Uh, Mass Singer was on tonight. Don't give it away. Lauren, thank you for tuning in. I'm glad you feel better. Good night, Jamie. I love you and Laura every week. Nick, you're awesome. The Flyers question was for you. Ryan, Ryan, we need another celebrity photo for uh, for next week. And uh, Ali Marie, don't forget to uh, send uh, send me your uh, address so I can send you your pen, or or if you want, you can wait for it and we can hook up at the old four five when that uh, when that yeah Johnny Flash, we can do that too. We could do forty minutes on mine and forty minutes on Johnny. We could do an hour and a half of uh, DJ music on uh, Friday night. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know if anybody has business Zoom. But that's a good question. Does anybody have business Zoom? But uh, if, you, if you want like 100 people... Well, you can do 100 people for unlimited time, but they want $14.99 a month. I don't know. Is business Zoom unlimited though, Ryan? I don't know. <laughs> I love you, Dana. <laughs> yeah, try and squeeze me in on Friday night. That would be nice. <laughs> Drag race. I you know what? My my wife and daughter watch that show uh constantly. We have the the VH1 subscription, so they can watch all the uh, the old shows and the, or the past shows, I should say. Yeah, I mean, maybe we can find a way around it, Ryan. Uh, I don't know. R Ryan's on my crack research uh, team. My my research team consists of Ryan and, and uh, Johnny Flash right now, and Lily. Lily's in charge of stats. So that's that's who that's who I'm working with. That's what's keeping me floating right now. <laughs> but uh, I'll put that up on uh, on uh, Raccoon Hunters tonight, and uh, make sure you're all interested. Uh, you, you're going to need to respond, and then we'll send you an invite. And uh, as Johnny suggested, we could do two sets. Uh, we can do almost an hour and a half where uh, I can do and Johnny can do it. We can do it simultaneously. We can do it consecutively. So we go from one to another. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Ryan and I are thinking about doing a, a radio show. Uh, maybe an internet radio show. I don't know. I, I think Ryan's... Ryan's... Uh, 
What, what do you want to do, Ryan? You want to do sports? I don't know. I think I'm more politics. Ryan's more sports. Maybe we could do the both. I don't know. We could do it on the. We could do it on Zoom, Ryan. What do you think? <laughs> and we'll bring Flash in too. <laughs> we'll have the meetings of the minds. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you cut them off, folks. Don't forget if you're still hanging on this Sunday night, John Hughes movies. And we're going to do Mark Wahlberg movie. So you got a couple of days. Do your research. Don't forget to tune in to uh, uh, the Facebook page, King of Quiz on Facebook and uh, Raccoon Hunters, 45th Street Pub Raccoon Hunters on uh, Facebook for the uh, up to minute information. All right. Looks like everybody's dropping off tonight. I want to thank everybody for a great night. A uh, nice rebound from Sunday. And uh, remember, stay healthy, stay happy, stay warm, because I know you will. we got a couple 80-degree days coming out. Taco, I'll see you. And uh, thank you for tuning in. You know, I love you and your family and your extended family as well. Um, don't forget, join uh, Ryan. Where are you? Ryan's on, uh, what is it, on tap or up tap or untapped or... So you can follow Ryan and his uh, his beer drinking online. Taco's got to get on there. But uh, I'll see everybody on Sunday. Untapped. There you go. Follow uh, Ryan on Untapped and find out what he's drinking because he uh, he does uh, hit the uh, the craft beers. Him and regular Mike are uh, into it. Uh, Nick, Ma, and me, he drinks Bush Life. I drink Miller Lite, so there's not a lot of excitement right there. But I will see everybody uh, Sunday. And uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to post it on Raccoon Hunters. Hit my Facebook page. I love you all. And I will see you next time.